let's see it in action holy oh my that's beautiful this one is nice hey yo everyone welcome back to another tutorial video today we are checking out an amazing yo-yo mod called ties yo-yo Re redux Re how, do, how do you say this word is it redux redo redux whatever let's get to the yo-yos so this mod not only adds in more yo-yos to fill in certain areas in the yo-yo progression but it adds in accessories and it also overhauls all the vanilla yo-yos if you guys have ever done a yo-yo only playthrough you'll notice that there's one major thing 99 percent of the yo-yos are lacking besides pretty much like one or two of them pretty much the terrarian and that is like most of them don't do anything other than just you know hit an enemy over and over as yo-yos do like this is legit what all the yo-yos do there's no special effect to a majority of them and they just do damage to enemies which come on terry you developers i know you guys could have been more creative than that you're just a little bit lazy and that's where the mod developers are there to help them out yeah obviously the wooden yo-yo it, it doesn't have any special effects it's a wooden yo-yo crude but functional of course but then we get to our first vanilla yo-yo the rally and look what it says projects it damaging after images so if we bring it back over here to our super dummies i remembered to take out the super dummies for once you will see look at that a little special effect a little after images coming out and they help do a little bit more damage and they also make the yo-yo actually unique so this mod if you're planning to do yo-yo playthrough i recommend installing this mod because like it even adds in more accessories there's certain areas in the game where it can feel a little lackluster on yo-yos for example how come there's no meteorite yo-yo it feels like a good area to have a yo-yo meteorites and yo-yos i feel like it just goes together to make something cool same thing with like the queen bee area you know but yeah let's go over all the vanilla yo-yos or all the new effects the vanilla yo-yos add and then we'll go ahead and check out the new ones including the accessories and stuff so so next up we have the malice the malice still don't know how to pronounce this drips with festering bile you know what it did before nothing <laughs> so let's see it in action here as you can see the bile dropping down it's not a crazy strong effect but it's just different it just adds in a little bit more personality to the yo-yo you know you're thinking of the corruption you're thinking of bile you're thinking of nasty stuff in the corruption perfect it makes sense as dripping with bile next up we got the artery sprays blood in random directions let's go ahead and see this here look at that this might do a little bit more damage than the uh previous one because you know it is a crimson yo-yo crimson usually is better than corruption on to the next we have the amazon pointy and poisonous so it shoots out stingers and does it poison too i think it might poison i don't know if it actually affects the dummies maybe it's the stingers that poison it's a little hard to aim the stingers as you can see it's, a little, it's random but i'm assuming it poisons at some point i don't know if the super dummy showed or not people wanted me to use super dummies because more effects oh yeah they are poison more effects happen on super dummies because you know regular terraria dummies don't show every ability that weapons offer and stuff like that but the super dummies do next up we got the code one generates an electrostatic aura interesting look at that i like this one this is my favorite uh overhaul so far next up we have the valor conjures ghostly wisps let's see it in action okay that's what they meant uh i don't know how often that's gonna hit something in front of me i mean it might be good for crowd control i don't know about the ones really up high though but like is there a way for me to like somehow hit the dummies with these i don't know oh there you go cascade causes hit enemies to violently explode oh my god this might be the strongest uh pre-hard mode one yet it literally is just the last pre-hard mode one but yeah amazing and on to our first hard mode one this chick rapidly produces crystal shards i don't remember if the, the chick does that or not and i don't think it does i don't know i always felt like the chick was different yeah look at that slapping the hell out of these dummies all right i got a remaining yo-yos here all the vanilla ones format c confuses your enemies with spinning sides look at that they actually do get confused and turn around that's kind of funny as you can see all the sides shooting around nice beautiful next up we got the hellfire charges up devastating flame torrents on impact oh look at that good crowd control yo yo right here yo yo's are usually really bad at crowd control too they're usually just single target since they had no special effects or anything next up we got the amarok leaves lingering snowflakes let me see this okay another potentially good crowd control one you can stack up enemies with the snowflake up next we got the gradient channels chromatic energy let me see what this chromatic energy looks like okay 
I don't know how that's gonna work against multiple enemies. Maybe we should like test it against multiple enemies just to see. Just to see. Yeah, this one's a little eh. I mean, it, it does feel like it's hitting more enemies at once. But to, compared to some of the other effects, that one's a little bit on the weaker side. Maybe it's just a single target. Next up, we got the code to generate a plasmatic aura that sears enemies. Oh, so this one is like a bigger version of the code one. Kind of makes sense. Let me see it against some enemies here. I, I just want to see. Look at that. Oh my, that's beautiful. All right, next up, we got the Yellets, Vicious, and Venomous. That's pretty much like the uh, Amazon where it's a pointy and poisonous. You love to see it. And look at that. It, it hits them with Venom. And there's also like leaves shooting out. Next up, we got Red's Throw and of course, Valkyrie Yo-Yo, which are the two dev yo-yos you can get. Uh, they even added effects to these, which are cool. I don't know how often people get these in playthroughs though. We got Inflicts a Random Debuff on Impact and then we got Fires a Flurry of Feathers. So the, the one where it inflicts random debuffs can be really good because there's some crazy debuffs you can hit stuff with icor curse flames all of that good stuff and next up we got the valkyrie yo-yo with the feathers uh the feathers do home which is very cool and we got our last three here the kraken lashes out with tentacles on impact Ooh. That one, a little loud, but really good. We got the Cthulhu words with mechanical malice. Oh my. So it does all the mech attacks, or at least the uh, twin mech attacks, which is really unique. And then we got the Terrarian. I don't think the Terrarian's changed by this mod, but I don't know, might as well check anyways. Now it looks the same, pretty much. The Terrarian always was the best yo-yo and the one with like actual special effects. But yeah, there you go. There was a bunch of the vanilla yo-yos overhauled. Amazing, it makes me wanna do a yo-yo playthrough with this mod installed, but let's get to the good stuff here. That includes the new modded yo-yos and the accessories. Of course, let's go over the accessories first. We have the chlorophyte ball bearings. Your yo-yo strikes resonate with nature magic. No idea what that means. Let's use a wooden yo-yo. Okay, so what, it's doing that little like pulsing effect, I'm assuming? Let me take it off. Yeah, so it was that pulsing effect, okay? Interesting, maybe the better the yo-yo, the stronger the effect. I have no idea, to be honest, let's try it. Maybe it just happens more often because it's a better yo-yo. I don't know. It is a chlorophyte tier item I'm using with a wooden yo-yo. Next up after that, we got the enchanted yo-yo Axel. 8% increased yo-yo critical strike chance. Beautiful. I don't even need to show that don't show that one off. Uh, we got primeval side effects, primeval side effects, however the hell you say that word. Your yo-yo strikes penetrate through a large amount of enemy defense. Who know the lizards loved yo-yos? I did. They told me in person. Okay, through text, I'm lying. It was through text. So it just it just penetrates defense. There's not really much to show off there. But then we have the ultimate yo-yo mod, which upgrade which puts all three of these together. We're actually gonna pull up recipes for once. Uh yeah, puts all three of these together. And then we have the master yo-yo kit where you put that accessory and the yo-yo bag together. Which is beautiful. I love when subclasses get some accessories. I love when subclasses get their own armors. That might be the only thing lacking, but I guess it's fine. Because yo-yos only do melee damage. They don't do any special damage, but I would still love to see an armor set here and there. That's just my opinion But yeah, let us get to the new yo-yos here again I am actually gonna check out the recipes for these starting with the heavy roller sports incredible knockback So let us see the recipe here. Just lead or iron with a white string nice let's see it in action i guess we're not going to really see the incredible knockback in action but uh let's just summon an enemy just so we can actually see that so it just knocks them back further than usual than a regular yo-yo around that tier would knock back which could be pretty useful next up we have the extravagant throw perfect for showing off uh i'm assuming all of these are gonna have a recipe i don't know maybe some of them are sold by stuff hey look these have recipes look at that that's nice makes it so you don't have to pray for a treasure bag to drop it but yeah we got the extravagant throw rubies platinum white string or rubies gold white string uh i don't think it does anything special i don't know maybe it's that glowing effect that's happening right now who knows it might just be a yo-yo to fill in an area that has a lackluster amount of yo-yos which honestly is like a majority of early game because the rally is a rare drop and then you don't get these until you fight the eater or the brain or unless actually you might be able to craft i think you can craft yo-yos without having to fight them you just gotta find the ore next up we got the asteroid launch a short lived bouncing fireballs uh this is just made with meteorite nice and simple recipe let me see the fireballs do i even need to oh there you go i don't even need to hit them just let the fireballs unleash very nice after that we got the hive which is made from beeswax who would have thought releases angered bees on impact beautiful 
Oh, yes. This is a great yo-yo right here. You get this with the hive pack. It's over. That's tons of damage. Next up, we have the Ravager. Fires out seeking blood clots on impact. Does this have a recipe? Okay, this is the first one without a recipe. So I'm assuming it's either a drop or it's something you sell or buy, I mean. But let us see it in action. Blood clots? Like, I think this might be a drop. This indeed might be a drop. Maybe a crimson drop? Probably, because I'm assuming this next one, Virtuoso, unless there's a recipe for the Virtuoso. I'm assuming this is also a drop. Let's see it in action. Don't even know its special effect. What was it? Critical strike damage is double. Ooh. If you want to build a nice little lucky crit build. But for yo-yos, there you go. After that, we have the Nitro. Leaves a blazing trail. Does this have a recipe? It does. Curse Flame, and then the other one, Cabal. Icor. Got it. Oh, this one is nice. And I'm assuming the Cabal is also going to be very nice. Eh, this is the first time where I'm going to prefer the, the Crimson variant. Like, it still does the Icor attack, but like, in terms of how it looks, it's a little less pleasing than this. This is cool as hell. After that, we have the Shadow Flame Spinner. Is there a recipe? No. I'm assuming you get this from the Hard Mode Goblin Invasion then. This is usually where you get Shadow Flame stuff, but look at that. Leaves a nice X of Shadow Flame or a plus sign. I don't know. It kind of changes wherever you put it. After that, we have the Holy Throw. This one does have a recipe. Yes, sir. Hollowed Bars. Shreds your enemies with sick tricks. Ignores 10 points of enemy defense. So it's just a fairly simple yo-yo here with a couple of benefits. Shredding defense and stuff. Next up, we have the Puff Ball. Does this have a recipe? Probably a drop then. Releases explosive spore clouds. All right, let me see these spore clouds. Okay, yeah, they had cover a wide area. Like, it's legit everywhere. Look at this. After that, we have the Poltergeist. Is there a recipe? There is a recipe. 200 spooky wood, 50 cobweb. Let's see it in action. What was the attack? Can pass through walls unhindered. Oh my. We might have our first, like, super strong yo yo here. It literally passes through walls. That's amazing. You know how useful that can be? You know how strong that can be? Look how much damage it does. You don't get it till like pretty much the last half of the game, but that's still amazing. After that, we have the extraterrestrial taser. I'm assuming this drops from the UFO itself. Haha, -ha, yo yo go zip zap. Let's see it in action. I want to see it go zip zap. Oh my god, that's strong as hell. And last but not least, the cataclysmic crusher. I'm assuming maybe you find it in dungeon chests. If not, drops from lizards, maybe the golem. Massive, dangerous, barely even a yo yo. What in the hell? This is definitely on the edge of what a yo-yo actually is, but it's still amazing. Let's see it in action. Holy, the explosions. How often does that explosion happen? It's only at the beginning? It's only at the beginning. So if you like recast it over and over again, you can just get the explosion going. This yo-yo will be the only one I test on a boss because there's a lot of them to test. I don't feel like testing all of them, but let's see it in action here. Hold up, gotta get the explosion effect going. So you gotta, you actually do gotta charge up the explosion effect a little bit because it doesn't just work immediately. But there we go. Beautiful, we love to see it. You know, let's go ahead, let's use the zip zap. Clear out the rest of the enemies, get them out of here. But yeah, that was the Ty's Yo-Yo Redux mod. Great mod, if I do a Yo-Yo playthrough in the future, I'm for surely gonna use this mod. There is a lot of Yo-Yo mods on the mod browser. I chose this one though because of the fact that it adds in a lot of special effects for the vanilla Yo-Yos. Cause I always think vanilla Yo-Yos are really boring. Like most of them just straight up don't do anything. There's like a handful, like Hellfire and Amarok, they light them on fire. The Terrarian, like this is the only one that really comes to mind with special effects. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Check out the mod, it's a dope mod. I'll see you next time. I should actually also mention that from like the 20th to like the 30th, pretty much the 20th to the end of the month, I'm gonna be going to LA with my friends. So there might be videos, there might not. We'll see what happens. Bye bye.